everybody. I'm back. Bob Zarcy is number numero uno here. Thank you for uh, being number one. Hey. We got Dan Y number two part two, just like Sylvester Stallone. Part three. Hey. All right, we okay, guys. Let me wait a little bit till people show up here in the stream. I don't know what happened. The stream got killed. I was about ready to start installing things over here. But then things went down south and not to Mexico. We didn't go there. Okay. We well, got Demo RC with a good question. He goes, what happened? So basically what happens is when, when, when like this channel gets too sickening, he gets killed, man. You know what I'm saying? It's how it is, man. All right. All right. Let me re reload over here. We got Mike Neves and JP's RC. He goes, we're back, baby. All right, sick. And Joseph Watkins, yes. Man, I don't know what happens. Sometimes, like, the stream just k kills itself, you know? It's pure irony. All right, we are back. Let's continue. All right. Philip Bender. We're going to show you Sandy in a little bit, man. Uh, Sandy's out here. He, I'm gonna show you Sandy right now, everybody. Okay, Dylan Kane, how you doing? Here's Sandy. He is currently taking a little cat nap. Hey, Sandy, how many hours today did you sleep so far? Uh, are you gonna be up all night running around trying to kill the carpet? Because that's what you like to do at night, bro. That's what you like to do. Stick it in. All right, everybody, we are back. All right, oh man. Appreciate you all being here. I don't know what happened. Man, this hat is hurting my head. Okay. That's it. It's over. All right. So I was up to basically checking where these tires fit. I honestly don't know. Uh, Woogie Nitro goes, what wheels are they? So this appears to say Road Bash from Losi. I honestly, I don't remember. These might have be tires glued onto the rim. I don't know. All right. Let's find out if they fit or not, you know. Let's see what happens, everybody. I hope it's the same uh, wheel hub size. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. I am, I am so happy. 20 millimeters. Wow. I honestly, for some reason, didn't think these would be 20 millimeter hubs, but luckily they are 20 millimeter hubs. Holy shit. I am happy. Okay. Let me uh, put the wheels on guys. All right. Oh, the tires, the tires are wheel bash. It, sa it says road bash. Oh man. You know, doing a live stream is, is, is not a piece of cake, to be honest with you. You need a lot of things to go right. And you got to be ready for a two to three hour stretch of things going wrong. I am pretty much had all of them so far. Okay, let's check this wheel spinach. Okay, spinach is good. All right, wheel spinach is very good. Let's get the other wheel on. Yeah, these wheels do not look directional. Yeah, these are for sure low C wheels. But they are not directional. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, here we go. They, they're so recessed. Like, if you take a look inside, uh, the wheel nut is, like, super recessed. I'm actually using an Intigy 17 millimeter tool over here it's so recessed it's it's pretty much annoying uh pyro tony yes yes i'm glad you mentioned the wheel covers i'm gonna pull out the wheel covers in a minute okay so here we got the wheel covers uh everybody thank you for stopping in it's a nitro Gang live, we got wheel covers. I lost the wheel cover. All right, I got another one. Luckily, I had two. Sick. Okay, let's flip it around. Uh, 
Sunday. What what did Hellfire say, Melissa? Uh, Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday, guys. So, yeah, so on this wheel, I have the wheel hub uh, nut cover. Actually, it's, it's actually a piece of crap. I'll show you why. Anybody want to take a guess? Uh, anybody want to take a guess why this is a piece of crap now? I know Hellfire, my friend over here, just asked me if I'm going to go RC this Sunday. Now, I, I think I'm not going to go. The reason is, do you guys know the darkest day in my RC life? The, the darkest day in my RC life. What was the darkest day? Now, Dan Y and everybody, what was the darkest day of, of my RC life, everybody? The darkest day. It was actually a Super Bowl Sunday when I had the Red Cat Rampage Runaway. That's right, hey, uh, Xavier's RC Adventures. That was the darkest day of my RC life. It was the fifth scale runaway. It's changed the trajectory trajectory of this channel immensely. And now I will not run RCs on Super Bowl. I don't like sports. I don't like football. It's a waste of time. You could be repairing RCs. Let me put it that way. Okay. That's right, Philip Bender. Runaway is not so, not so funny when it's yours, and especially when it's a fit scale. Okay, you can get your ass sued, bro. David VIP Auto, yes, I am down for tomorrow. Midland, rich and loud. Whatever time you want, okay? But let me know ahead of time, okay? Sickening. Now, let's put uh, this wheel on. Hope maybe you will think, shit, I don't have a radio for this, actually. Freaking hate football arm over Straxis. I don't like any sports, to be honest with you guys. Uh, yeah, Melissa likes sports over here. Uh, I'm not going to put you down because you like sports. That's fine. But what you should be doing is buying nitros and repairing them. Melissa. Well, I used to play golf, Bob RC. Uh, the thing is, there's nothing wrong with playing sports, guys. Nothing wrong with playing sports, guys. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Sports is a couch potato activity. All right? You could be repairing RCs. On the couch, okay? It's better. Trust me, okay? Just kidding around. Oh, shit. The wheel covers are still in. Uh, Nitro RC Attic goes fire it up. I will in a couple minutes, man, okay? All right. Let me uh, remove these wheel covers. Now, what's the worst thing about the low C wheel covers? Anybody want to take a guess? These are... SAE screws. So I'm going to try to get it in. It's You have to press like really hard. These are not metric screws. Yes, I am, Joseph Watkins. I love playing basketball. Yeah, Melissa likes basketball. We're like polar opposites, you know. But Do you have your hobby? I have mine. Michael Phelps was also, you know what? Yeah. Melissa, yes. my hobby makes the world great. I'm just saying that. I've thrown a football before. Yeah, Melissa throws football. She's going to she's gonna break your finger when you catch it. Okay? I'm going I'm to be honest with you. She might not look like it, but but she could do it. All right? Ugh. There we go. Wheel cover is out. Oh, we got Aaron Gibson. Sickening. I gotta tell you, I'm not a big fan of these wheels. The, the wheel nuts are like extremely recessed. All right, here we go. All right. I got a question here from Nitro Express. Whatever happened to the Nitro V you got? I still have it, dude. I uh, The Nitro V is... I, I have, like, two of them. Yeah, I'm looking at it, like, um, right over there. There's two of them. Pretty good. All right. 
Let's see, what, what am I doing? Um, Yeah, the wheel caps look, look really good, but, like, honestly, you don't need them. It's, like, it's decoration only, you know? But without them, you basically see the ugly side of the wheel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, let me see what I'm doing now. The other wheel. Okay. The last wheel over here, guys. Last wheel. Man, these SAE screws, I'm going to have to get all new screws now. But I'm probably gonna, not going to use all of these. It's like way too many screws for for a wheel nut hub. Yeah. Yeah, Dave VP Auto, this is like the most annoying wheel. Basically, this is why like a lot of these uh, low C's you wind up buying, they their wheel uh, center caps are missing. Almost always. Because these are number one SAE screws. Meaning a metric driver doesn't even fit. Yeah. Yeah, it's super annoying. It's low C stuff, man. Low C stuff, you know. What are you gonna do? Low C problems. Wait till you get to the 1.5 millimeter screws on the chassis. That's that's really the fun part, man. That's that's the fun part. Okay, so after we get the wheel on, we're gonna check out the compression, guys. Nitro RC Annex would like to know what my worst Nitro RC is that I have. Man, let me think. Ah, uh, that's a good question, man. Let me think about that. You know, I got I gotta say, in in regards to what like uh, mechanical issues or like parts problems, or I gotta tell you, I would say it's a hard question, man. What's the worst RC I have? Mm. Now I can't just claim they're all electrics, right? Probably not. Okay. All right, last wheel nut over here. All right, let's check out the suspension on this chassis. Actually, I've never really tested it with the with the body on. Oh man, it is it is it is supple. Oh, we got grateful dabs in the house. How are you, man? How are you? Happy to see you here. All right, guys. Now we've been talking about the low C, and I said we're gonna fire it up, but there's a problem. There's there's a problem. Well, I don't want to say it's anything that big of a problem, but it's a bit of a problem, guys. All right. Let's take the body off. We are looking at the chassis. Let me switch this around. Looking at the chassis. Now, for those of you that might have seen this truck before, it's actually a, a fairly um, a nice intricate chassis. The XXL model, if you guys have the regular LST or the LST2, you'll notice on those models, this is very, very close by. Uh, on the XL, XXL rather, you have extra space between the tank and the motor. Now the question is, why do I think this needs a rebuild? Uh, a tricky gamer goes, that's a unique platform there. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, that's pretty, 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 pretty unique. This is actually a really giant truck, you know? Maybe I should compare this to the Savage XL. I don't know if I'm motivated enough later. Maybe I'll compare it to a Savage XL. Question is, do we got compressioning? I would say it's moderate. I mean, I don't know. I would say if you're easily able to pull the pull starter like I am right now, it's, it's, it's not amazing. Um, I'm going to try to run it, but we will see. Oh, JP's RC with a good question goes, does the LST take special servos? Uh, no, the, these are just regular 10 scale servos, you know, it just uses two of them. These are the throttle and brake and reverse ser throttle and uh, brake servo. Reverse, sorry. No, hold on, throttle. Uh, yeah, throttle and reverse servos, yes. Uh, and the two steering ones are on the bottom. They're just 10 scale servos. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing special about the servos, all right? But uh, they are kind of a pain in the butt to replace here, you know, as, as Woogie Nitro d does say. Let me show you how the servos are mounted on the bottom of the chassis. It's a, it's a fairly intricate chassis, so you understand you're going you're gonna to have to learn uh, some, some things. If you look at the bottom, it, it literally looks like it's some kind of dinosaur. I mean, it's, it's fairly intricate. We have 
a lot of stuff going on. I would say one of the things I don't particularly like, uh, the batteries on the bottom on this one. I don't really like this. Oh, I see my boot is over here. It's a little slippery. Now the servos are right there, right? So all of the four servos you got your throttle, brake and reverse and two steering servos. Now, many people, I would highly recommend, this one still has the stock JR servos. I would highly recommend to convert to like a single powerful servo. That would be very, very uh, ideal in my opinion. Now, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Looking at the bottom of this chassis, does, does anybody see anything that is like a, a good feature or interesting or you think is a good, is a good design? And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look at the comments as you guys are chatting here. Anything interesting there you see? I know there's something. Woogie Nitro goes the battery. Uh, Xavier's RC Adventures goes cutouts. Those are all those are all good 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 ideas. Yes, I was thinking more of it's modular. Now modularity is very important, right? Because well, why do we want things to be modular? Um, well, Kia likes things to be modular due to uh, cost cutting. And actually, that, that applies here too. Suspension arms are the same front and rear. Um, basically, all of these parts are the same front and rear. Modularity is what you want. Pitbull air-cooled here goes pipe protector. So this particular one, yes, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. This one actually has an optional Team Losi center chassis brace uh, that has an incorporated pipe protection system. You know, Sistema del Protectiono. Aquí, aquí, la Sistema. La Sistema está aquí. Okay. Now, is this easy to work on? I will say removing the engine is, is fairly easy. Right? You simply have four screws right there. They have very easy access. Uh, four screws. And your motor is out of the chassis. It's uh, relatively easy to work, in my opinion. I will say having a battery mounted on the bottom right under the hot engine might not be a great idea. But maybe it's possible I am exaggerating it. So who the hell knows, you know, all right? Um, maybe it's possible I am exaggerating. Uh, it's possible, but, but I highly doubt it. But modularity is very, very important. You know, when you learn about modularity, you learn about life, okay? Manual Maldonado goes, the front and rear plates kind of look like a cat. I, I guess I could see that. Oh man, yeah, I see the ears, the ears right here. Hey Sandy, this is the RC for you, for you, bro. That that's yeah, dude, that's the ears. shit. Manuel Maldonado, the genius comment over here. Yeah, if you look at it in this direction, I can't flip it around because the orientation lock, guys. But yeah, those are like the cat ears, and that's like the feet on the bottom over there. Shit, Sandy, one of your ears are clipped, bro. We're gonna have to clip one of the one of the one of the ears over here. Sick of it. This is the Sandy XXXXL version. Nitro, guys. Sandy version. He's out cold, guys. Yeah, he's sleeping. Uh, let's not bother him, okay? Okay? Well, let's not bother him. All right. Let's 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 continue, everybody. So, um, I'm going to ask you all a question. Now, what do you think about the compression on, on this chassis? Now... I mean, I'm, I'm easily able to spin it over without really much, without much force. Now, I know previously I uh, showed you guys this motor and we already know that it's relatively low compression. RC Scotty Z with a good question. He goes, is it interchangeable with each other? Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, oh, he means the XL and the XXL models. Uh, I, uh, I mean the LST and the XXL. You know what? I don't know. I think... The skid plate and stuff like that are. I don't have a regular LST now to compare to, but Wookie Nitro here would know. He he knows. There's a lot of people here that have this truck, and I appreciate if you guys would chime in on some of the comments here in the stream. You know, I uh, go along, but of course you guys have your own comments there as well. Okay, yeah, compression is no good. It goes RC Scotty Z. Yeah, the compression is terrible. Now, I asked you guys a question earlier. How do you do a rebuild on the low C454? And how? Where are you going to get parts for a vintage nitro motor? Anybody anybody know? Where are you going to get parts for this? 
Anybody know? Well, I know there's at least one person here that I think knows where you can get it. David VIP Auto, bro. You have the 454? If you have the 454, I got a magic, magic surprise for you. Okay. Here we go. Are you guys uh are you guys ready? Okay. We are looking at the A main website. This SH28 piston and sleeve apparently is a direct fit. And look at the price, $29 for the piston and sleeve. Now, some people have already recommended this to me. So let me scroll down and I'll read some of the reviews on it. Look at that first review. This sleeve and piston fits that perfectly on the low C454 engine. Um, I highly recommend you get this, okay? It's at A main right now. If if possible, please like use any of my links over there. You know that would really help me out. Although usually none of them work anyway. But uh, you know, so this appears to be the SH28 directly for the 454. So this is a. Um, you see, people are saying it fits into the eight port engine, and this actually this motor is made by the SH. Okay. So right here, direct fit on the low C454, right there. I've uh, Somebody uh, gave me this as a recommendation earlier, and they're still in stock. I actually checked a couple days ago. They were not in stock. All right, so they were not in stock. Let's see what I, what I ordered. Hold on a second. I, I made an order somewhere. Let me see. Okay, so here is my order, guys. I placed an order for two dynamite air filters and one rebuild kit. Okay, so David P. Auto, great, bro. It's a, it's a direct fit. I magically stumbled upon this. All right, luckily someone told me, oh, we got Tarek Curry in the stream. How you doing, man? All right. Now, Texas Hill Country Custom Homes would like to know if it fits... Uh, the 427. I mean, to be honest with you, man, I, I, no one has mentioned anything about the 427. I know here in the comments, it doesn't make a reference to that. Okay. Um, yeah. So this apparently fits. The, it's a, it's a, it's apart from this engine. The, it says the Pro 28. So here are some of the parts for it. I don't know. That says back order now. I don't know. So hopefully that would uh, that would work. Yeah. So these these parts are all on back order. Interesting. Oh oh okay. It's because it's already sold out. Okay, man. Uh, that's because you just bought it there, David. Be a pure sickening, sickening. It's sold out now. Um, what are, what are you guys talking about for the Mach twenty six? I don't know. So th this, I mean. A uh, few people have told me this is direct fit, so I'm gonna try it out. You know, it's a, it's a it's a cheap, inexpensive uh, part. We will we will try it out. Now, I want to say special thank you to Melissa for being here. She is uh, right along Nitro ringside with our mascot, Nitro Sandy. So uh, he was in a little petting zoo before. That's why he got a little blue collar. I'm kidding, guys. Our cat don't go to no petting zoo. He's a cat. Hey, Sandy, what are you dreaming about? Good things? Good things? Tuna? Yeah. Chicken? Costco chicken? Yeah, he loves Costco chicken more than anything, we, we just noticed. Yeah, he's sleeping now. All right, sickening. All right, guys. Back to this truck. Now, what else do I have to do? Uh, demo RC, yes, please, man. Try it out in the 427. Maybe we can all uh, learn something. Because this, you know, man... These are not bad engines. These are good engines. If for that price it's repairable, then I I just think we should do it. So what do I have going on over here? Oh, man, it's going to be a mess. Yeah, so I have no receiver here yet. I have to get a receiver. I, I know some are, some are on the way already. Um, yeah, suspension. Sickening. Cannot be killed, guys. All right, Melissa. Uh, the Nitro Gain has asked me to fire this up. 
Uh, I think we're going to have to get you to get Sandy away because he's going to be scared. What do you think? Okay. Uh, Woogie Nitro, I don't know which rod fits this motor. And all the parts I saw, the rod was not included, to be honest with you. So that's kind of a problem. Okay, guys. Um, let's all say goodbye to Nitro Sandy over here. We're going to fire up a Nitro, so we don't want him to, to get too scared, you know. It's delicate over here. It's delicate. You got a little bell. Got a little bell over here, guys. Got a little bell. All right, sickening. Okay, bye. Come back in a little. All right, guys. What do you say? fire it up or what you know like i said the compression is really bad but like i can barely lift it like this a little bit but it's 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 really bad you know for a 0.28 usually the compression on these things is is very very insane okay i'm gonna fire it up right now guys let me uh settle down settle in so to say so to say Man, my hair is pretty bad. Uh, who cares? Who cares? It's just hair. Am I right? Okay. Let me see what we got going on over here. All right, guys. What's up, Melissa? Let's uh, let's put some fuel in it. I'm gonna finish up with the wheel caps later on. I have to get like screws for it and stuff. It's pretty annoying. All right. So right now we have the carb closed. Um, I'm gonna give you a good view over here. All right. So this is where we're what we're dealing with right now. I'm gonna try to fire it up. He's a punk. Mm. Okay. Yeah. He's a punk. Gotcha. All right? Gotcha. Here we go. Not too much fuel, just a small amount. I will say the fuel tank seal, I've already checked it. The silicone is very good. The seal is quite good. The primer, I mean, if you were to place a bet on whether the primer works, you, you might actually lose. Okay, because cause, cause it doesn't. Okay. Uh, so far, so far, guys, in all of my uh, years of low-C acquisitions, the primer on the low-C fuel tanks has never worked, ever. Anybody here ever come across one that actually does work? I, I, I just don't think so. Okay. All right, everybody. Um, going to have to prime this and I'll do my best to fire it up, you know? Hey, Melissa, where did I put the glow driver? Oh, it's right here. Okay, guys. All right. Pyro Tony goes, his works, bro. It's, it's, a, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Okay, but in my, in my adventures, it has never worked. Sick. All right. Okay. Here we go. Sickening, sickening. I see some conversations here in the stream. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a joke or not a joke, but it really doesn't matter, bro. Um, you could stay here, watch a Nitro Entertainment as you please, okay? I don't kick nobody out. You have a good day. Okay. Yeah, we might have to do a little RC adventure over here, guys. So it might have to actually happen. Okay. Switch. Oh uh, yeah, Melissa, we don't care about trolls. Don't worry about it. Don't let, don't let. Listen, guys. You think if I worried about the trolls? I would have a successful YouTube channel? 
<laughs> I don't worry about them. I don't think about them. They don't matter. And in fact, they're just people like anyone else to me, okay? It's just quite unfortunate that they're trying to ruin somebody else. And uh, let's all wish them a good day, okay? Hopefully we can convert them to this channel, okay? You're not going to get me to say something mean, okay? Congratulations, all right? It's not going to happen, all right? Yeah. Trolls, schmoles, I don't even care. That's a word that morons use, guys, okay? All right, let's prime it. Oh man, please, I hope this thing primes. Oh. So far, we got nothing. So far, I see no fuel. I'm going to open up the carb. Let's see what happens now. Okay. It's sickening. It's sickening. We got nothing. All right, guys. I'm going to do something a little very gentlemanly. Um, we're not going to do the RCBJ this time, guys. You, you know why? I have the pro the perfect tool for everything. Yeah, the engine is, is the engine is bad. It has no compression. The compression is terrible. That's why I ordered a um, a rebuild kit, you know, for it. Uh, Melissa, don't worry. What are you What are you going to get these comments get to you? Do you think they matter? They don't matter. I got my own life problems. Do you think I can worry about, like, what... what some individual says in the stream that might be aimed at making me upset. I can't worry about that. I got a bunch of other people here that are watching and want the show to move on. Here we go. Negativity, positivity, waves, resonance, only nitro matters, okay? Get a life. Here we go. I'm going to try to force fuel with this up pump okay so I'm gonna force fuel through a uh, fuel tank there to the pressure line and it should hopefully go through the fuel filter there Oh, yeah, I just saw it. I just saw fuel. Okay, that's good. That means it's working. Okay, it's working. Carb might be clogged, actually. That could be it. All right. All right, so we got we got fuel. Uh, this did actually move, but it's it's not enough of a volume. This is like a giant engine. I have a big ass uh, fuel filter over here, guys. All right, we're gonna fire this up. Well, hopefully, I don't know. You know, uh, we don't have the electronics connected, so I'm gonna have it at like maybe 10 percent throttle open on the carb right now. Um, 125 viewers here. Some some haters, some not haters. I don't care. Where's my glow driver, Melissa? Okay. All right, everybody. What do you think is going to happen, everybody? I don't know. All right. That's right, Judge Joe. When the syringe come out, something happens. You don't know what, but something. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, oh, that was a little fire.
Blow driver off. It's running, guys. It's running. What do you think about that? No problem. All right, time to shut it down. Time to shut it down. All right, that's it. Shut it down. Shut it down. All right, sickening, sickening. Can't kill it. The question is, oh, yeah, the compression got even worse. Yeah, the, the compression got even worse, guys. It's even worse. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the, this motor needs a rebuild. I don't know. It, it could probably run for a little while, but it, 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 like, it got even worse now that it warmed up a little bit. But I'll be honest with you, the cooling head is not even, like, it's not even that hot, you know? Yeah, the sound is weird, I know. It sounds like some kind of metal, metal cl clanking. It's possible that, like, the rod inside is hitting the side of the crankcase or, like, something is worn. I don't know, but it doesn't sound good. I looked at the clutch. The clutch was okay, you know? So, the motor runs. I'll be honest with you. Like, I know right here we have good questions. How will it be when it warms up? Uh, probably not good. Probably not good because as soon as you get, like, the higher RPMs, it's going to start it's pissing you off. Compression is, is, not, is not incredible. Um, yeah, Savage Rob goes cold. It'll have compression. Yes. When it warms up, obviously nothing. The question is, will I be able to fire it up again? You guys want to see me uh, try to start it again right now or what? I'll do it one more time for the Nitro Gang. What? Uh, Ka, what's up? I, I don't have an A main code. Um, pretty much the links in the, in the description of this video, bro, they are my embedded links. So I think any of the A main links you click, uh, technically it should should uh, automatically route it and and record. Now usually it doesn't even work, but I have no other way of actually doing it. Right? Um, I don't do this to really sell things. Stuff like this is old nitro trucks, you know. But let's try to fire it up again because uh, usually low compression motors won't fire up that well. Let's let's we'll give it another shot. Of course, it didn't really get to proper operating temperature, guys, so it's a little bit, uh, it's just a little start, you know? Start with wheels, so to say. A wheel start. Yep, symptoms, low compression. That's it. Yeah, it's. I think this uh, pull start or spin start is is making a noise. Actually, it starts, but like, it's an it, it easy rebuild, guys. Once this thing is like hitting the RPM and you're running it, it's gonna be it's gonna be dead, basically. You know. Um. Let's see. Let's take a look. Okay. Here we go. I'm not sure. It feels like some of the noise. Might be coming from this uh, pull spin start combo. Well, Melissa, someone's pissing you off. What are you so worried about it? Yes. Calm down. I hate when people piss All right. you off. Okay. Um, nitro head. So I, I bought uh, a new piston and sleeve for like, uh, what was it, $30? Just before, like, you know, plus a little tax and shipping and stuff like that. So about 35 total, you would say, but I only got a piston and sleeve for this motor. I did not get the connecting rod. That's, that's the only problem, okay? So that's, that's kind of the only problem there. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. Uh, young Masterpiece, how you doing? He goes, this is awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um, you know, this is just an old nitro truck that I um, basically have been restoring Unfortunately, I bought it with a low compression motor. Nothing I can do about that. Let's take a look at the two-speed transmission on the other side. No, you cannot block anybody. On this channel, Melissa, we don't motion, okay? Is it bad? Are we back? Okay. We're not going to block people just, just to block them because I'll tell you something. When you, when you cut off a person's ability to... When you block, when you cut off a person's ability to, 
you know, comment, to have their say, um, it just fuels them even more. And I don't want to fuel negativity. I only want to fuel nitros with oh, yeah. uh, nitro fuel. How I feel, I feel like a negative Nancy. Okay, guys. Anyways, two speed is, is very, very good in this chassis. Um, I think it's going to be running running quite great once Watson's repaired. The, the air filter is terrible. It's I, I basically just have it here as a placeholder. This is like, obviously, you could tell the foam I have here. I just shoved it in. It doesn't actually fit that well. Okay. But... It seems like the boot itself is garbage. It's not from this chassis, by the way. Um, but overall, man, I think what was the right? I pay like about, about 150 total for this chassis. But now we're going to have to get a rebuild for it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. You know, yeah, the guard is neat low voltage, Louis. That's true, man. Um, this is pretty, I know Hellfire before said he broke one of these. Was I right? All right. Yeah, probably, probably, probably. Um, sickening, sickening. Okay, let's continue here. RC Scotty Zegos, that's one of the biggest spur gears I've ever seen. I, I was actually just thinking that, dude. I was just thinking that. Like, why do they go with such a giant spur gear? Well, uh, I mean, we know why. Because it has to do with the final drive ratio. But, oh, Al Casa 52 here in the stream channel member. Thank you for being here, my dude. Uh, you know, we're just out here. Got a couple haters, but it's okay, man. Uh, we can't, you can't kill them. You can't love them. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta live with them, man. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, how many teeth this is, man. I don't even know how many teeth this is, but I do have some other spur gears, actually. Let me pull one out. I might have another one I could show you. Okay, lucky for me, I happen to have uh, another original spur gear for the LST and the LST2. I'm pretty sure all of these teeth are the same, to be honest with you, on the, on the trucks. Um, well, not all of them, I mean like generations. 70 tooth right here. 70 uh, spur low gear. So that means that, that must be first gear, probably. Let me see if I have any other parts. Just a little fun over here. You know, oh yeah, this truck is known for like the world's biggest shocks on an eighth scale nitro. Actually, they're extremely, extremely soft. Extremely soft. Let me see if I have any other gears. Well. I happen to have another one, but it's it's actually exactly the same as uh, the 72. It's exactly the same. So, pretty, pretty large. Let's see if I compare this. Yeah, this is actually the other gear. So, this one's bigger than 70 teeth. Weird, right? I don't know. Kind of an interesting design. Because through gearing, you really don't need such a giant external gear here. Because either way, this all goes through diffs it goes through a transmission there's gearing there they could have just made it work work there in my opinion oh we got lotus 420 is on duty we got the most awesome channel moderator here how you doing bro i just saw you oh we got it's burnsy with a question any white castle left no bro i killed them all oh uh, that was today's short by the way you know that was an old video i just loaded a short because like what that what the hell you know anyway man suspension is very very soft very, very soft. Motor looks clean on the outside, too. I gotta say, I like these low-seat motors. Uh, what I don't particularly like, I noticed it has a plastic fuel inlet over there. So that part is honestly usually metal. Um, Al Casa goes hybrid. Did you buy one of those three off the Jammins? And the answer is Al Casa. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. I uh, I actually have it right now. I I was gonna do the stream on on that little RC, but I'm a little bit upset, man. Um, I'm a little bit upset, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Plus, based on the way things are going, um, I have to save that for future content. But I did get one of them, and I'll be honest with you, man. Uh, it's not the one I wanted. It's the last one I wanted. But the other ones I wanted, they got sold before my offers were accepted. Right, sickening. 
That's pretty much pretty much bad, okay? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, Nathan McGregor with a question. What tires are these? Okay, so these tires, I'm going to show it to you, man. All right, these are Losi Road Rash. Road Rash. They seem to be in like new condition. Uh, I will say the foam on the inside seems uh, deteriorated. It's like a common thing on these damn Losi tires. I've it's basically always the foam is dead. It's pretty much always how it is. I don't I don't get it myself. But I mean I've I've had so many different used trucks over the years, guys, and uh Traxxas foam usually isn't bad. It's usually quite uh in one piece, you know. Yeah, Alcasa 52, I will tell you uh, that truck needs a new fuel tank. So I'm, I'm pretty much upset over that, bro. That That's actually what I'm upset over. Uh, Tara Curry wants to know, what's the difference between the XXL and the LST? Good question, man. So uh, the most obvious difference, if you look right in front of the tank and the motor, there's, uh, I would say, about three quarters of an inch of space about three quarters of an inch of space over here. So I remember working on the regular LST too. The motor was right on the tank. It was it was right on. So there's a little bit of extra chassis space. This is kind of an extended version. I don't know. I it, I think the other part of the space is probably here in the front where the servos are. Um, I've worked on these before, but just the LST2 model. Uh, we got MR audio here he goes hello everyone hello how you doing man thank you for uh, stopping by friday night nitro with the gang over here yeah pretty pretty great truck man but um i ordered the piston and sleeve right so that's gonna be like 35 dollars stuff like that so right uh the body also is a little bit longer than the regular lst the only kind of negative here um as you guys might know i, I am missing the center uh, gear cover. The gear cover, I'm missing the gear cover, guys. All right, so we're missing that. Yeah. What else we got going on, everybody? I mean, that's basically my uh, content for today. Um, we could have more, more, more of everything. I could possibly even show the Ofna CRT the Jammin CRT 0.5, but uh, I might have to save that, save that for another video. We will see. It's Burns, he goes, no more. Dirty jersey for him. He's moving to Florida. Man, I hope you have a great trip, man. Uh, don't forget about the Nitro gang, you know. I'm sure you're going to be putting out awesome videos even from Florida, dude. Um, you can't kill them, you know what I'm saying? All right. Now, What's it with everyone moving to Florida, bro? I know there's at least two people in the stream right now that are telling me they're leaving Florida. What's going on? Okay, man, should I go to Florida too? Oh, Tara Curry. Bro, thank you for that donation for the sleeve rebuild. Yeah. So, I, I figured, you know, I, I figured... Uh, during the last stream when I did a video on this, uh, people did want me to put in a new engine. But I figured as a last resort, that would be... The, the what I would have to do as a last resort for you know considering this is this cooling head is basically like new condition and uh I, I try to keep things as close to stock as possible in, in my opinion uh, I figured let's just keep it how it is either way guys I mean this truck is pretty much good Melissa um what do you want to talk about right now boo what do you want to talk about you want to talk about some uh sickening nitros or what sure like what What? Tell us. TC3. Melissa said pull out the DC3. The TC3. TC3. C3T. The Terminator 8. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, yeah. All right. Savage Rob. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, you know, considering this motor fired up, it, it seems like the carb is okay. And it seems like the post-art system is okay. I, I figured I would try like a rebuild. I honestly <laughs> um I honestly don't know if I'm going to replace 
uh, that piston itself. I'm, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Um, if I just replace the sleeve, because to be honest with you, since I'm not getting a connecting rod, right, for this motor, there's no connecting rod. Uh, if I just get, well, I'm getting the piston on sleeve, but generally it's the sleeve that is worn. If I just replace the sleeve, do you think that would be effective enough? Like, I don't want it to be 100% new. I just want it to be drivable. That, that's all I want uh, with this truck. That, that's it. Now, to remove the piston, you got, like, the, the, the pins over there. The pin, it's very annoying. Uh, so, Lotus 420 goes, no, what is that? Is that not good? What do you mean? Or I can't do that. T yeah. Tell me. All right. Now, uh, low-voltage Louis, I can't pull it apart right now because I don't have the parts. Plus, I need the table space for, like, other things right now. So, I'm sorry about that, bro. Can't Cannot be doing that. Um, I'm looking around what else we can take a look at, okay? Uh, low voltage, Louis. Um, I've, I've already removed the head before. The motor looks very good inside. You really can't tell nothing. I'll, I'll be honest with you. You cannot tell, like, any defects. I'm just going to tell you. Uh, but uh, until I get the, the rebuild, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do anything else because uh, I, I got other things, you know? Jacob Rivera would like to know what is the oldest nitro I have. Okay. That would be the Thunder Tiger Silver Fox, 1983. Okay, okay. So Melissa is going to be driving uh, a Slayer. She got the Slayer, bro. Okay, so Melissa basically only likes short course trucks. I don't know why. I think it's because like when I first met her, right? A uh, little story time. When I first met her, I was probably filming a video on the Slash VXL. Okay, on a slash VXL. And uh, it was a short course. So she just basically likes short course now. Okay, uh, what do you want me to do? It's kind of how it is, okay? All right. All right, sickening, sickening. Okay. Oh, what does she like? I don't know what she likes. Slow. What? Is that, is that true? That's true. That's true. That is okay. true. Yeah, I think, I think that's true. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, Melissa likes short course, basically, you know? Sickening, mm -hmm. sickening. Okay, let me see what you guys are saying here right now. Um, oh, Judge Joe goes, yes. Melissa loves the T-Max. Max. Yes. Well, that is true. She does love the T-Max, but basically the guy that drives the T-Max, you know, which is me. Okay. <laughs> but her personal preference is, is like a short course for herself, but she does love the T-Max. Uh, but that's only because I have so many of them. You know what yes. I'm saying? Look, I have a lot of them, bro. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Okay. Oh, we got Dude Perfector here in the stream. How are you, man? I'm uh, happy to see you here. <laughs> Let me think about what I can uh, pull out. Um, let me see what what people are saying. Okay, let's see. All right, let's continue. Uh, Lotus 420 goes, she'd be driving the Raminator, yet might be a new favorite. Well, I mean, the Raminator is... Uh, it's it's a specific vehicle. It's a specific vehicle. It's it's uh it's for me basically, you know. But I'd rather drive this a good car, an RC car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, sickening. John Hall, man. I understand if you want to leave, that's your choice, man. Listen, that was my opinion. That's your opinion. You know, I'd be sad to see you go as a viewer, man. I know you've been on this channel for a long time, but if 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 your view doesn't jive with my view. Either we can agree to get along or part ways. You know what I'm saying, John Hall? Uh, that's just the reality. Okay? I don't know what to tell you, bro. That's the reality. But you can make a judgment as you make your judgment. Um, I'm here to now talk about RC. But as people, we have other views, right? And you want to judge me on that, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine also, bro. I'll be happy to have you as a viewer or, or not. Okay? But... There you go. Okay. Let me see what people are saying. Let's continue. Yeah, a lot of people misinterpret my jokes. So so understand that uh, that's just the reality of it also. Okay. All right. Let's let's continue, everybody.
Yep. Kobe RC Garage. I gotta say, I agree, man. Kobe RC Garage. Totally agree. Okay. What? Yep, Judge Joe. I promise I won't make fun of Santa. Don't worry, man. I promise I won't. Okay, I won't. Okay. I said. All right. Let's let's continue, everybody. What else do we have for today? All right, I see we got a lot of really hurt people here today. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not, I want you to know, I'm not personally trying to poke fun at your belief system. But if a belief system uh, is not fact-based, then I'm sorry, it's open to interpretation. Okay. okay? I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'll gladly have a debate if you want. I believe in God, guys. Yeah. I do. All right. I'm a Catholic girl. All right. Melissa, what are you? I'm Catholic. So I celebrate Christmas, so I believe in God. That's great. I'm happy for you. Okay. All right. Anyway, guys, let's continue. Uh, pretty much demo RC, pretty much. Yes, you know. All right. Okay, we got Chartison 6026. But... Uh, I just want to say, John Hall, in all honesty, man, if if I hurt your feelings, you know, I'm sorry for whatever that is, but, you know, I'm, I'll be the person that takes it back if you want me to, okay? But either way, let's go forward, okay? Yes, Melissa, what is it that you want to say? It's not like he didn't, he didn't mean it if you think that. Mighty Mike, I agree, bro. Okay, he but uh, you understand, joking. I don't like when my viewers are upset at me either, you know, like long-term dedicated viewers. It, it, it upsets me also, you know. I, I don't want to say something uh, as a joke where someone else uh, takes it as, as obviously not a joke, and it, it, it's not the best, okay? It's not the best. I mean, probably someone uh, is, is, you know, butthurt over, over Shimone, you know. Probably someone is butthurt over Shimone. You know, what do you want me to tell you? This is the reality, okay? Now, you can defend who you want to defend, man. But, um... Okay. Um, uh, Melissa, let's do this. Okay, which... I have a question for you guys. Yeah, go ahead. Which RC do you want him to start tonight? Let me know. On the live chat. 83? Someone asked me to fire up the 83. What does that mean? Hi, new to candle. So let me know which RC you want him to start tonight, guys. The 83? Someone said 83? What's 83? Xavier RC says your Slayer. Ah, so we've already st started up the Slayer. Your 1983 RC, the oldest. Oh, one. oh, no, that, that one's too hard to start. I can't. I'm going to have to bruise my hand. I need like a 12 volt starter battery. So it's very, it's very annoying, okay? This Left. Okay, L Joseph, how you doing, bro? Um, L Joseph, I'm gonna say I agree with you on that, man. Um, I'm gonna say I agree, and it's it's not my burden to prove it. Okay, that's that's just the reality. The burden of proof is not on the person not making a claim. They want to say um, you guys could say whatever you want to that. The burden of proof is on the person making a claim. L Joseph, I agree. Okay. Sickening. So the 116 buggy, I, I, I'm not in a good mood to actually even talk about it right now, you know? Like, I'm a little upset that a viewer of mine is upset, guys. I'm a little uh, upset. What about the Savage, they said? What about the Savage? They want to see the Savage. Oh. Or people saying the, that RC right there. Nitrohead goes Pico Integra. Yeah. Um... All right, we could do that. You guys uh, want to see this right here? We'll fire this one up. Okay. All right. Uh, Pyro Tony goes fire up the Terra Crusher. Uh, the problem is with the Terra Crusher, it uses a proprietary starter tool. I really can't do that, to be honest with you. Um, 
it's not as easy as it seems. It has like a proprietary tool. I don't have like the connection right now. If I showed it to you, you would probably laugh at me. So I don't, I don't want to do that. Anyways. We're here to talk about nitros, guys. Yeah. All right. John Goodwin. I'll bowl with you on that, man. John Goodwin. All right. All right. All right, Melissa, can you, um, I need you to go get the, the starter box upstairs, you know, the red box, please. Yeah. All right, Melissa's going to go get something for us and, uh, we'll fire up, uh, this right here. So let's talk about nitros. Can you please put this like somewhere on the floor over there? I need a table space. Okay, guys. All right. Let's talk about nitro, guys. Nothing else. Just nitro. You know... You're all here, like, holding me hostage, talking about just just the topic of this channel. You have tons of other channels. All they do is just bullshit all day long. Okay? I'm not going to let you get away with that. Okay. All right. Continue, everybody. I understand. All right, here we go. Starbucks. Oh, yeah, the tires, right? Yes. Oh, we got a good question here from Chartison. He's a good friend of mine. I know him, uh, you know. Uh, he goes, do you think the low C speed NT was a true Jado killer? You know, I've never seen the low C speed NT uh, in real life, but I know it was a, a very, very similar spec chassis, very, very similar. And it had a little bit more of an innovative starting system. But the reality is the Jado was common. You could still get one. Was the low C speed NT very good at the time? I would say yes, it was very good. It was very good. I have never had it, you know. So I cannot give you 100%. A uh, very good opinion, but I will say on paper, um, they were they were probably very close. If anybody here can come up with like some specs that were maybe not better than than or better than the Jado, I'll I'll learn something. Okay, it's possible. But the low C brand, I'll be honest with you guys, it's it's uh you're never gonna get one of them. Okay, it's gonna be very very impossible. Jado, you could still get it. It's kind of I would say the part support for me would be would be the fundamental benefit. Uh, what do you guys think about that, okay? All right. Okay. Uh, Pyro Tony, I agree with you. I actually know the reason why. And Pyro Tony, if you want to message me on Facebook, I'll tell you probably what the reason for that is, okay? I pretty much know okay. uh, the reason for that, okay? And, and I know exactly what, what is going on. All right. Here we go. Uh, Pico Integra, this is uh, the card that is from the box uh, over there. Very, very rare chassis. Melissa, what's going on? What's going on? Who's pissing you off over here? All right. Yeah, I don't know. We got some person here that says I called him fake. I don't know what you're talking about, but... Uh, Whoever you are, stop saying negative things. I didn't call anybody fake. That's not my job. Uh, I'm not an investigator of how fake you are. Okay? Uh, no one's fake okay. in, this in this channel. Yeah, I don't know what this person is talking about, guys. Uh, apparently, I called somebody fake. Uh, first live. What What first live? That was like, what, three years ago, bro? Was... What are you talking about? Was that three years ago? I... You know what? If I hurt your feelings, man, if I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. Okay? Are, are you happy? I'm not beyond an apology okay guys uh nicholas hunting dude i didn't call you fake i don't know what you're talking about i have no reason to think you're fake literally you are a username in a stream that i am looking at and i appreciate you watching and if you feel i called you for whatever something bad reason uh something bad i am uh i'm sorry but i did not call you fake and if i did i am sorry okay but but no one is fake i have no reason to think you're fake. You're real. This is not the Matrix. This is just an RC. Okay, here we go. All right. How 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 would I even call you fake? Okay, so I'm sorry for that, Nicholas Hunton, bro. I want everyone here to just 
just understand if something was misinterpreted, I, I am truly sorry, Nicholas Hunton, okay? In fact, um, I'm going to check out your channel, and if I like it, I'll, I'll even tell people to subscribe to you, okay? And once again, my word is not the authority of anything, but it's interesting, okay? All right. It's a Friday night, guys. Oh, Nicholas Hunton. He, he actually has, like, a lot of nitro stuff over here, man. It's sickening. I don't, I don't know why I would call you fake. I'm, I'm sorry if it felt like it, okay? I'm sorry. But, yeah, you, I see you have, you have, like, a couple of cool videos, man. You have, uh, oh, Losi Nitro, uh, the Truggy, uh, Rare Tamiya, TGS. There's nothing fake about you, bro, because trust me, I would never call a person with nitros in their video fake. It's impossible, okay? <laughs> okay, anyways, let's let's continue. Okay, we're all good now. We're friends. Let's, let's talk nitro. All right, great. All right, so I haven't really made a dedicated video on this yet. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll fire this up. So this is 1998, I'm quite sure. There's almost no information on this chassis online. Check that out. Crazy wheels. The wheels. Look at that rear end, guys. That rear end is fatter than a pan pizza. Okay. That's right, goes Philip Bender. I'm going to read this best comment from Philip Bender. He goes, impossible to be fake if you got nitros, baby. I totally agree, man. I totally agree. I totally agree. Okay. All right. Everyone, Judge Joe here just says, everybody, welcome Nicholas to our nitro gang. Uh, I'm happy to have him here, man. All right. All right. Let's uh, take the body off. I forgot to say, this is a really nice painted uh, Porsche, Porsche body. I don't think I've ever seen one... Uh, in, in such good condition, to be honest with you guys, in, in my opinion, okay? Okay. Uh, it's Burnsy, yes, yes. You are right about that also, okay? But we cannot confirm or deny the existence of Agent Mully or, or, or Scully, Mulder or Scully either, you know what I'm saying? So, Agent Scully over here, man. Okay, sickening. All right, let's... um. Okay, so here's the chassis overview, guys. 1.8 scale nitro on-road pan car. I, I honestly don't know why they call them pan cars. I mean, obviously, it looks like a pan. Well, maybe a pizza pan. I don't know. But, like, uh, does anybody here know why they call them? Well, maybe they call them... If anything, they should be called a wedge car. Because these are, like, downforce wedge shapes, right? They're not really a pan shape, in, in my opinion. Okay, anyways. Let's, let's continue. Uh... That's right, Alexander. Oh, Cardigals, it's all about that suspension. Let me show you guys the suspension. Now, I did leave a little fuel in it because, you know, sometimes I fire these up, like, during the stream. And if I were to get rid of the fuel during every video, bro, I would be going through this every single video. It, it would cost me a ton of money. It's It would be pretty much impossible. So let me show you guys the suspension systems. Quite, quite incredible. Okay, we got a good comment here from Philip Bender. He goes... Pan car usually refers to the pan-like chassis. I thought that too, man. I thought that too. But the reality is like, dude, a buggy is more of a pan than this, right? A buggy is a flat pan. It's literally a pan. This this at least has something, you know, cutouts. All right. Let me show you the body tech uh, suspension, rather. Uh, this is going to be something a little bit interesting. Just Joe... Um, Yes, I did order more bones brew. Actually, I did. Good, good, good point, man. I almost forgot. Actually, all right, pan pizza right here, bro. So check this out, everybody. This has what's known as a floating body mount. So you know, to really demonstrate this, I have to put the body back on. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really impossible uh, to understand what what this is actually doing. Okay. So with the body on, we could see the chassis. Now check this out. I'm going to press down the motor with my hand. Watch the suspension. Do you notice the body itself doesn't move at all? That is what you call a floating body mount, guys. You see that? So the floating body mount, what that does is, basically, suspension moves up and down. I could even move it here with my finger. You could see the shocks moving, but the body, the angle, the geometry of the body never changes. That's that's the whole point. Because the reality is these cars, guys, if you see right here, yes, um, the entire frame moves along with, with the chassis, right? But the wheels, well, the wheels are really never, um, oh, well, I don't mean the wheels. I mean like the, the, the area around the tires. It never really changes. 
That is because these wedge style chassis generate downforce. They need a ton of downforce. Uh, they do like 75, I think up to 80 miles per hour in the straightways. And without the proper downforce, it's a flip fest. And that is why this is more or less a, uh, a wedge aerofoil style shape. It's very important that the geometry of the wheels never changes. JP's RC's goes this at least 100 Shimone's. Man, if I say Shimone one more time, Melissa's going to try to try to kick my ass. Yes, I will. All right. Philip Bender goes, how many, how old is this? My estimate is 1998. The only information I was able to find is 1998. Okay. Uh, now, another interesting feature. So, oh, we got Hobby Man RC. Uh, thank you for that. Donation goes, I appreciate what Hybrid Nitro. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Hobby Man RC. I know you've been a channel viewer for, for a long time, actually. And um, yeah, prior to the new year, I think even during when my AC bills were huge, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, summer, sickening. So thank you, man. Yeah, I bought this one for how much did I pay? I think 350 for this one. Yeah, I, I paid a lot for this chassis, actually. Um, most important features. You guys uh, want to take a look? Some of you might have already seen it, but I know you're you're asking me to uh, take a look at it again. So I'll do it. We got ourselves. What do we got, guys? What we got is belts. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I Someone asked me about the, the antenna tube. Yeah, I just have it like this because it's easier for me to put the body on. Obviously, I didn't get a radio with this chassis. So I'm going to have to, well, I'm waiting for a couple receivers in the mail right now, to be honest with you guys. So I'm going to have to put them in and then we'll do it. Check out the gear mesh. Man, this was a, an expertly built chassis at the time period. Let me show you something about, oh yeah, the wheel clip, about the carb. Some of you guys might not have seen this. The carb on this chassis is something I have never seen before in my life. And I hope you guys appreciate uh, what I'm about to show you. Yeah, this air filter is not very good. I got to replace it. It's the foam, I think, is pretty bad. Okay, check out that carburetor. It appears to be a flat blade carb. I looked it up online. Um, check that out. It's weird, right? It's like a flat blade carb. Uh, Hobby Man RC, we are all happy to have you here, man. He goes, just hanging out with the gang. And you, well, you know what I'm doing, bro. I'm over here hanging out with... With Melissa, you know, she's, uh, you know, Nitro Queen. And uh, Nitros, mm -hmm. that's basically what it is. All right, so let me show you a little closer up view. Interesting um, carb over here. I've never seen anything like this. I, I read somewhere, this is called a blade, a flat blade carb. I'm not sure what advantage this would have, but I've, I've never seen any other Nitros with, with a carb like this. You guys ever see anything like this? It seems to have a very, very good solid feel, uh, a very minimal flex in the linkage itself in general. So this motor is a real Pico motor. Now, Pico used to make motors as we know, but guess what? This entire chassis is a Pico. It's a Pico, baby. Okay, so, all right, let me uh, get the filter on. Good comment here from Grateful Dabs. He goes, high-end carbs on dirt bikes use the flat blade. I need to do a little bit of research on it. It seems, it seems interesting. I notice the carb has some metal and some composite components. Quite interesting as well. Okay, Philip Bender goes, yes, the Mikuni carbs for dirt bikes. The two-stroke carbs. Pretty interesting. Uh, in terms of drivetrain, in the rear end... Oh... Benjamin Martinez, please, man, check out your own Mugen. I would really uh, like to know whether you have that similar style carb. That would be that would be interesting for all of us. Now, the rear has a locked differential. It's fully locked. It's like a spool. All right, spools, baby. Spools up like a turbo. In the front, we have a front one-way bearing. So what you can do, you could spin the wheel forward. Notice none of the other wheels spin. But if you spin it backwards, you got all of the wheels going backwards. Right? Front one-way and rear locked spool uh standard standard setup so we have an old receiver here i'm going to remove this eventually 
In the front, you have a relatively similar suspension to like pretty much any modern any modern car, right? All right, everybody. Um, it's a little chassis overview. Should we fire this up right now or what? All right, so first thing I actually have to do is because I'm using a starter box that isn't designed for this chassis, really. I'm, I'm having to do a lot of guesswork. Uh, Alexander Arcada goes, is the front one-way bearing a common racing thing? I would say yes, it is, man. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, I want you to know, long, long, long ago, when I used to race the Micro RS4, one of the most important upgrades people would do would be for a front one-way bearing. That was one of the most important upgrades uh, for, for, for racing during that time period. On the, even on the electric Micro RS4, front one-way bearing. Today, these are almost impossible to find. All right, everybody. So first thing I have to do, I actually have to take the wheel off. Check this out. Quick disconnect wheel. Wheel is off. Easy. That's how it is. Quick disconnect. Uh, same system as the Serpents, uh, as the HPI Proceed. I am not sure if, if the wheel has the same specs in terms of uh, width, you know, and fit feature. But that'll be okay. Uh, quick disconnect. Foams. These look like they were never used, in fact. I could see they seem to be ha they seem to have been applied in like multiple layers over here. Interesting, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh Philip Bender goes today the lot tracks rally cars replaced them at my local tracks raced them. Yeah. So oh also oh, so today it's the La Tracks racers. Yeah, man. Back in like when I was younger, you know, in the well, the late nineties, early two thousands, we were racing micro RS fours. It was micro RS fours on carpet all day long. This one is actually quite fast. It's been converted to a brushless. I stuck the most giant brushless system you could possibly find. And um, it, it's so fast that it kills the wheels all the time, man. I can't find wheels anymore, man. Sick. Sickening is what it is. All right. Uh, what was I doing, Melissa? Okay. Let me switch over to this view, guys. I'm going to fire up that chassis now. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you, Melissa. Thank you. Right. Little hat to get proper, proper attire. Okay? Little proper attire. Thank you, guys. Bless you, bless you. Thank you. Guys. Melissa, what happened? You sick or something? You got COVID? No. You got COVID-18? No. You got COVID-12? No. Okay, I hope. I don't know. Kidding. Around. Okay. Thank you, guys. Right, so let me see. I think I... Do you remember how many wheels I, I removed last time? Two. Oh, yeah. I removed both the wheels. Okay. Man, this is going to be annoying. I'm basically using a starter box that's not set up for this exactly. Okay. Let me uh, set up over here see what I'm doing. All right, so the pipe is this way. Do you remember which direction I was doing this? This way? Um, okay. All right. Yeah. Ah, sickening hat, everybody. You know where I bought this hat? You know where I bought this hat? Can't tell anybody, okay? I was probably in college at that time. Shit, those were, those were crazy days. No, I'm not crazy allergic days. to our things. All right. Well, Melissa's allergic to bullshit, you know? Okay. Yeah. Sickening. Bullshit. Philip Hunton. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't tell you where I bought this hat. It was actually in um in a store in a mall, okay? Pretty good store. Couldn't find a couple good Chiquitas there. Excuse me? What, Melissa? What? What? You heard that? You didn't hear nothing. Yes, I did. What did you hear? You Chiquitas. heard a Shimone. No. Shimone. Girls. All right, guys. I'm going to prime it. Whoa, whoa. Sick. Starter box is not the perfect uh, design for this, okay? No matter what. So my bad. I'm old. Okay, Melissa, okay, you, you, you had enough of your, uh, okay? Okay. Hey, come, come back. Where are you going? All right, guys. Melissa got mad at me. She didn't like what I said. Thought I was kidding around. She's sensitive, man. Can you please tell her to come back in the chat here? She, she, she left. Well, we're going to be fighting tonight. All 
Okay, everybody. Sickening. Man, I can't start up a nitro if she's mad at me. I can't do it. Yep, Lotus420 goes, he's having the same problems tonight, bro. Why'd they do that to us, man? Why'd they do that to us? All right. Now she's ignoring the chat. Well, we got what's in what's in the box. How you doing, man? Happy to see you here again. Just uh, you know, firing up a little nitro over here, man. This is a very vintage uh, Pico Integra, nineteen ninety eight. Uh, very, very rare chassis. Very rare. All right, what's in the box, RC? Glad to see you here once again, man. Okay. I don't know if it primed correctly, but we'll we'll see what we got. Very rare nitro on road. No fuel in here. Hold on a second. Okay. All right. different glow driver I need to test this glow driver hold on I'm thinking hold on a second guys we got a little dilemma over here going on okay, hold on a second let me test the glow driver myself starter box is fine This glow driver is dead. Hey, Melissa, are you still angry at me? Well, if you're not, can you please go upstairs on the massage chair? There's a bag with an orange glow driver in there. Can you please get it for me? Thank you. I would appreciate that. Okay. All right. I think the glow driver is dead. Actually, I didn't charge it before. Eric needs, you have a good night, man. I'm uh, going to fire up this vintage nitro, and then we're going to leave, okay? We had a couple of uh, upset people here in the stream. I am sorry that they're upset, but what are you going to do? All right, this, I feel like this glow driver is dead. Oh, burned myself just now. Okay, I'm going to try this one. Okay, here we go. I think my glow driver was that, guys. My bad. There we go. Damn, glow driver was dead. Unbelievable.
Oh man, I spewed oil all over the, the, the surfaces here. Oh crap. Yeah, this, this motor is incredible, man. It's, the glow driver was dead, guys. That's why I wasn't firing up, my bad. Put oil all over this. Melissa, you okay over there? All right, yeah. That's right, bro. Night Nicholas Huntun with a great comment. He goes, life's too short to be angry. I agree, man, I agree. Especially depending how you control how old you are. I'm, I'm kidding, you can't control how old you are, bro. Yeah, so this 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 chassis fires up incredible. Oh, Big Pete, thank you for that uh, donation, bro. Goes, nice. Okay. Um, yeah, very, very rare chassis. Shit, I just charged this glow driver. What the hell is going on? What's going on? I'll be honest with you, these twist lock ones, they're all right. I have an old Alosi twist lock one. This one's actually like quite, quite solid. I was planning on doing a video for just like glow drivers, but whatever. Uh, you know, you get sidetracked, stuff like that. Okay. Okay. No, right. Why Z goes that Pico just caused a couple earthquakes? Dude, this motor runs really rich and, and it still runs normal at a low idle. Um, I love it. I love that about it. But the thing is, it spews so much oil over my table and it's like a color of oil I have never seen from a nitro in my life for some reason. I don't, I don't understand why that is, okay? All right. Um, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, what else we got? Man, this, this chassis is, 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 is honestly quite beautiful. Um, even access to the, to the flywheel uh, for the starter box is, is impeccable. All right. Um, Benjamin Martinez goes, why did I lose the love for the dynamite lipo? You know, I, I've had two of them already. I had no problems for a very long time. And then over, like, for no reason. Let me see. I think I might still have one here that's, like, defective. Here's uh, the dynamite lipo one that that uh, Benjamin Martinez and other people are uh, uh, talking about. Okay, uh, sickening. What it? What it? It's terror cleaving. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I I've, I've had no problems for like two years of using this, and then all of a sudden, like nothing. I have um, a test glow plug over here that I use. Where's the glow plug? I just burned myself with Melissa. Do you see it? Okay, right. Here. Let me just see if this still works. Oh, I see what the problem is. This whole, this whole system is just bad. Yeah. No matter what you do, like this thing, I keep getting a red LED. You see that? And then it's green and it's actually not green. Red or green, it, it seems like not to do anything. I'm looking at the glow plug, nothing. I got nothing. Whoa! This one's powerful. Let me show you what I'm talking about, guys. Let me show you what I'm talking about, everybody. So this is just a uh, a test glow plug I have. All right, David VIP Auto. Yes, uh, Melissa, is, am I free tomorrow around twelve? Yeah. Melissa said I'm free. Okay, David VIP Auto. See you at Midland tomorrow, twelve ish. Okay, so let me show you this. Is like some old Team Losi. Like average looking, you know, glow driver I have. I just I just use this plug to demonstrate it's not a very good glow plug. But check this out. It's super red, right? It's freaking oh man, that is crazy strong. You could burn yourself. You can make pasta with this. Now, for some reason, my most dependable one isn't that great for some reason. Alex goes, What's up, bro? I just bought a roller yesterday for thirty dollars. That's you got a better deal than I did, man. You got a better deal than I did. This one, I don't know. It's it just like died on me. Check this out. Nothing. I just charged this. So I'm going to charge this overnight again. Now, uh, this twist lock, I kind of like it. I, I did like it. The problem is you wind up putting like a lot of pressure here. And I had a part over here fail. I had this disconnect from the handle uh, already once. It's kind of... It's strong though. It's It's hella strong though. You know? 
This one, I can't get it to freaking do anything. Check that out. Nothing. The lights, the whatever. I mean, how could it be bad connection? I mean, I've tried everything already. Anyways, we're, we're at a dead end with this. What do you recommend I should do? I was going to drive over this with a car, but I'm a little worried that it'll blow up or something. Now, I already tried cleaning everything here, dude. It, it, it doesn't, like, there's some kind of defect in the wiring. Yeah, Grateful Dabs go, same problem. Is this some kind of defect? And, and like, it's, it's too, this thing doesn't retry. You see, like, it gets stuck. Yeah. The lipo, the lipo maybe is dead. I don't know. Either way, I'm not going to mess around with this, man. Uh, it, it's done. These glow drivers, like, honestly, they're so cheap. It really doesn't even matter, you know. You just test it with a glow dry, glow plug like this. Like, let's, for instance, take the, the world's worst. This one, guys, is like 10 years old. I got this in a used RC lot with, like, some other chassis. I don't even know what it was anymore. Check this out. Super crazy, right? Red. This, these ones are very good, actually. Yeah, they're they're the strongest and the brightest. These ones, the the McDaniel's. Uh, you know who it was that recommended this to me? Nitro Head goes. What is your favorite glow driver? So to be honest with you, this one is very very good. The meter is very accurate. I I personally like the dynamite ones. Uh, I used to love this for for like two years. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't know. Anyways, but it was the Bug 404 that introduced me to this. That's why I called BRC Garage. It was the Bug 404, actually. Uh, he told me about these. They're very good. Well, for some reason, this is my second one. Um, I, I had the shaft disconnect from the handle itself previously. Just Joe, yeah, I don't know why. Like, I, I had a failure with it also before. So at this point, I honestly like the regular, like, super cheap Exceed ones. I don't even really trust uh the meters anymore all you do you take like a, a bad glow plug whatever stick it in there and you test it if you could see it glow up red it's good that's it guys that, that that's it that's that's all you gotta do you know what i'm saying it's straightforward you keep one in your glow plug wrench all right keep one like in your glow plug wrench over here for for testing and that's that's basically what you're doing you know all right, we got over 102 people here. I'm glad you guys are still here. Uh, Nitro Head, bro, talk to you later. Tomorrow will be a great video. Yeah, you know, these, like, honestly, I, I also got this in a lot of used RCs. It was incredible. It, it so far has been the strongest one out of them all. And it's possible because, the you know, the sell inside is newer. Long ago, uh, I used to use the HPI purple one, right? The HPI power. Uh, glow drivers, they were called. HPI Purple something, I don't know. Power or something. They were very, very good. And the sub-Cs back then were replaceable. Now, these are like basically sealed. You can't really exchange. You can't do nothing. Even this one, it's it's sealed. But this Team Losi Racing one is, is very powerful. Um, just something to be aware of with a twist lock feature, right? If you kind of like... You know, twist lock feature could technically unscrew your glow plug sometimes, okay? Uh, Pyro Tony, I have not started the 116th yet. I'm waiting for some good weather, and then I will uh, surely fire it up. Okay, let's put the wheels back on. Quick, quick connect. It's actually not that easy to connect it because you got to apply a lot of pressure and then get it in the slot perfectly. It's actually not, not really a piece of cake, to be honest with you. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, see, this actually wasn't a piece of cake at all. All right. All right, Melissa, how you doing? Okay, all right over there. You still mad at me? You look like you're frowning. Are you frowning? All right. I'm just in pain. Uh, what hurts you? My ear. Your ear hurts you? Why does your ear hurt you? Something. Your ear hurts you? What? Why? You have sinuses? Infection? Well, that's pretty bad, Melissa. It's pretty bad. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I, I'm really sorry to hear that. You know, pain is not good, man. Okay. Yeah, quick connect, quick disconnect. But the question is, if these go bad, what the hell are you going to do, you know? What the hell are you going to do? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. All right, everybody. 
Oh, what time is it? 10.14? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oof. Yeah. All right, everybody. I got, I got to go tend to Melissa's needs. Might have to go hit up CVS now, get some medication. I hope we all had a good night today. Um, tomorrow might be something very, very exciting. I don't know yet, uh, but it's going to be very exciting. If for some reason I said something that hurts somebody, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. Um, some of us have become friends during this stream, like Nicholas Huntoon. I'm happy to have you on this channel, man. And trust me, dude, I, I am the last person to call anybody fake. Um, like, I wouldn't even honestly use that argument. That That is not even a good argument. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's a bad argument. <laughs> like, th that is an argument with no proof. So I was very surprised when you t when you told me you thought I said that. I was very, very surprised. Um, so I would never do that. And, you know, if you watch my streams, I, I you know, if I, if I do hurt people's feelings, I almost always say I'm sorry. All right. Um, okay, Nicholas Huntoon, I hope to see you in the next stream, man. And everybody, you all have a good night. Uh, Tara Curry, bro, thank you for the support tonight on... Uh, the, uh, the rebuild kit over there, you know, Xavier's RC Adventures, bro. I will talk to you later. And if, let's see, if, did Pyro Tony message me? Message, okay. Okay, over here. Let's see. Sickening. Uh, Pyro Tony didn't message me yet. I told Pyro Tony to, to message me. I don't understand. Okay, all right, everybody. Um, you all have a great night tomorrow i'm going to be running some nitros with uh dimitri david vip auto here later on and we'll see what tomorrow shows up if it's good weather maybe it'll be a uh, live stream maybe not you know to be honest with you um i do try not to miss out on a good live nitro stream when people are burning nitro right that's like what the channel is but of course I also have to run around and yell and act like a fool sometimes just because of uh, video purposes, right? Like, you know, I have to get them to talk on video. I have to be like, oh, man, what are you running today? Tell us what kind of fuel you are. I mean, they obviously look very angry, okay? So sometimes I've been, I've been cutting back on that and doing more of a solitary confinement situation. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Okay, everybody. Um, you all have a good night, RC, everybody. A taco bell time highly possible bro highly possible highly possible All right melissa i hope you feel better because you know when you're in a bad mood i'm in a bad mood uh, oh we got kaz beardsley how you doing kaz beardsley over there in the gym oh sickening i'm proud of you man okay we're gonna start living a healthy lifestyle today i had one of those impossible burgers i gotta tell you they're not worse than i thought they're they're as good as i thought which is average uh, and a salad Okay, eat some cucumber salad, eat some salad, some vegetable. Soon we'll all become little you-know-what. Okay, I'm kidding around. When you're burning nitro, you don't have to worry about salad content. Okay, I'll see you all later, guys. Uh, have a good night. Thank you all. And tomorrow there will be something. All right, by the way, if you watch my recent short about the pizza, the Costco pizza, I, I misspoke. I'm going to correct it. I said... Uh, the term public property. I didn't actually mean public property. Oh, we got Earl Moorhead. Uh, how you doing, man? Earl Moorhead collects BMW 3 Series like I collect... What do I collect? Okay. HPI RS4s. I collect RS4s, actually. Got a disorder, bro. You know what I collect? Can't stop it, man. I can't, st I can't, I can't stop the collection of the RS4s, dude. Okay, this body's bad. Don't look at the body. The, bo the body's not very bad. But it's not a girl, so don't matter, you know? All right. Uh, I can't stop the collection of RS4s, bro. Look at this original one. The Hot Bodies receiver. Can't, can't stop it, man. Like Earl Moorhead can't stop the BMW 3 Series with the Z ZHP packages. Sickening, sickening. All right, but what, what was I saying? Uh, other than Shimone. Um, oh, yeah, so what I was talking about is the pizza. I was talking about the damn... I misspoke and I said public property. I actually meant like a 
open in plain sight, like two members. It was a pizza being made through a giant freaking glass. Okay, a giant glass anybody could look at. I was recording the pizza. That's all I was doing. It was my own pizza. Okay, they came up to an inch of my nose and threatened me. Okay, sickening. But now I got people telling me I, I don't understand what public property is. But you understand it was like a heated moment and I said the wrong word. Okay, I, obviously Costco is not public property. It's a, it's a business. Okay, anyways, uh, see you all later. I'm angry now. But I'll get over it because I got a horse for it. <laughs> you see how easy that works? 15 FE, baby. Super original. Look how original that is. It's so original, it's a one speed is all you need. Sick. Good night, everybody.